Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just using some new products and old products showing you my favorites. If you are new here, please subscribe and ring the bell. You'll be notified of all my future uploads. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first product I found that I do enjoy is actually this Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. It's very, very transparent. So you look you, you can apply it and you don't even see it. It feels really nice going on. It feels very smooth. It has this really cute doe foot applicator. This is also the mini. So I don't know like how big the full size is. This is 3.3 milliliters. So it's 0.11 fluid ounce. So these two products I'm not going to use in today's video, but I wanted to talk about them. This is the Dermadeli Citrus Glow, sorry, Citrus Gold Oil. Um, I got this in an Ipsy. It retails for $40, so I got this. And, like, it is just beautiful. The brand is a very small brand. Um, you can find them on Instagram. I can link it down below. But I've been using this for a week now, and my skin is actually looking better. But I've also been using this 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster. So this is probably what's making my skin look really good, too. Um, I've been liking all this. This retails for $135 for this little bottle. So I probably won't repurchase it. So I've been like kind of taking it out of my skincare routine. But I definitely love it. It leaves like a nice glow to my skin. Next product is this Tula Skincare Probiotic Superfoods Rose Glow and Get It Stick. So it's like a cooling stick. And I literally just put it here because that's where I'm going to put highlighter. feels very cold, like very cooling. So really like all my high points I put it and it just feels so nice. This palette I tried to film with this camera. Now, you guys will see these as really bright colors, but they're not. You can check it out on my Instagram. But I did want to go in with this green color and just put that all over the lid. Just pack it on there. I'm not going to set my... eyeshadow well uh, primer sorry forgot what it was called so I'm going in with this wet and wild brush that picked up a lot actually so I'm just going to start at the very bottom and go up I kind of want to like fuse it up and maybe add some shimmer see that makes it I think it makes it very pigmented I was using the KVD eye primer or shake and prime stuff and I couldn't blend on top of it. So I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and kind of fuse out the top. I might actually do it with, I might grab this shade called Bonafide right here. It's like a bone shade just to like fuse it together. I'll add more green if I need to. Want to smoke it out. My camera's going to die. What? There we go. This is new. I have not used it yet. This is the Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty. I'm not sure which way you say it. This is the Water Jelly Hydrating Primer very scented so you get 1.18 fluid ounce um i was using a brush to move it around oh very very scented so this might actually irritate my skin i did a test on my hand and nothing happened okay so this is my all time favorite foundation and this is the rare beauty in shade 140C. It's just so pretty. We'll see, I'll probably need to add more. 
And I actually get to try the Rare Beauty foundation brush. I picked it up from a Sephora the other day. Never tried it before. I think I tried the sponge. I think. I might have returned it. I don't know if I was a fan or I just never bought it. I don't know. It's a very light finish, but it is buildable. I'm going to keep my face rather light because my My eyes are kapow in your face. Although I might add more. I mean, I'll add concealer there too. I'll add more of my forehead in case. Very soft brush. It's blending out really good. So even if you wipe or you tap, I think it works out really good. Next is the concealer, which is also in shade 140C by Rare Beauty. I love this. I'm actually almost out. Oh, and it gets right in there. I make sure it's blended really nice around the eyes, but then I go in with whatever foundation brush I'm using and just tap the edge. So I'm only going to use a few more cream products. So I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty Match Stick. It's like a contour in shade Amber. I just want to have a little bit of a contour. Um, don't think I'll contour my nose. Not today. I'm just going to use a foundation brush. But I usually go in with contour and then I go in with bronzer. Last cream product and this is the Rare Beauty. This is just a little blush in shade Peace. Just gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna do one cheek at a time. Now I used this before, but I don't remember it being that pigmented or that orange, so. I really love her blushes. They're just so beautiful. If you wanna see more, like let me know in the comments, because I have a few. I also have a short on here, which is the swatches of a few of them. And I'm just taking my foundation brush and just going over it. That stick I put on, the Tula one, is showing it through my foundation. So I didn't set under my eyes yet, so I'm going to do that now. So obviously, my favorite is the Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm just going to use this Eco Tools brush. Tap some off. I really like this Nabla bronzer in shade Dune. Very, very pretty, very pigmented, so I'm going to go in with very little. Okay, so this is my all-time favorite. This is their Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Whew. All of these products will be linked down below. Okay, so I'm going to use this really, really tiny ColourPop brush and grab that same green to smoke out the bottom. So are any of these products your favorite or like products you want to try? Are there any products from these brands you guys want me to try? 
I've heard a lot about Tula skincare. So this is the first thing I've ever owned and I got it in an Ipsy. I'm gonna grab another brush, dip into another color and smoke it down underneath, which I think I'm gonna use that bone shade. So I'm going to do my lashes and eyebrows off camera because I am testing out a new mascara and I want to do that on Instagram. So I will be right back. Alright, so I let my camera charge for a little bit. Um, this is the finished look. This looks a lot darker than I anticipated. I added a little bit of gold in the inner corner. I added the Nabla Skin Glazing Glow Powder in Ozone. And I added a little bit more blush from the NARS Orgasm. This is my favorite blush. I wish I could build this up more, but it was like it's not moving even if I add product. But I still really like this, <laughs> this Fenty eye primer because it made this look so pigmented. Um, I did underestimate this palette. I really like it. Um, I'm going to try more things with it, so stay tuned. I think I'm going to do something with like the blue. Yeah, so I used Rare Beauty Mascara, and it is actually pretty nice. I've been using the Anastasia Luminous one or whatever, and I actually realized in the second or third use that the one I got, like, it was sent to me for free because I purchased so much Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff, and it's very flaky. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this or what I could do different with the green um, as far as, like, building it up. Um, what you guys have found that you like so yeah thank you all so much for watching i actually enjoyed filming today's videos i found some products that i still really like um new products that i like i'm gonna be using this primer if there are any products that you guys want me to purchase and try let me know down in the comments if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that'd be greatly appreciated and i hope you all have a wonderful day Bye.